But hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So Donner was nice enough to send over one of their practice pad kits. So this includes the pad, a stand for the pad, a carrying case, a stick bag, as well as three pairs of sticks, all for right around 60 bucks. So a pretty solid deal if you're a beginner drummer looking to get into playing drums without really breaking the bank, or for someone like myself who is looking for a lightweight, easy to transport, practice system. That way I don't have to lug around a bunch of pads and stands and stuff everywhere between the multiple locations that I go. Big shout out to Donner for sponsoring this video. So really quickly I wanted to go over a couple of my favorite drum rudiment warm-ups that I use for hands. I had a couple people asking for hand-based warm-ups after my last kick drum exercise video. So I just wanted to quickly go over with you guys four of my favorite drum rudiments. So we're going to be doing singles, doubles, paradiddles, and Swiss Army triplets. Why you ask? I think it's important to understand some of the fundamentals when it comes to rudiments because it can really open up your options and expand your playing abilities when you're a beginner because when you transfer these to a drum set you can get some really cool fill results and really help build out your options as a beginning drummer. These are also useful for me because when I'm getting ready to play for a session or warming up for a show for example. I don't want to be having to deal with my hands cramping up or my forearms burning because I didn't take the proper time to warm up prior. I like doing these in two minute intervals at 100 BPM. If you need to slow them down, you're free to do so. Go ahead and drop them down to 80 or 60 BPM just to make sure that your strokes are clean and consistent. That's the most important thing. So without further ado, let's get started. We're going to start off by doing single strokes at 100 BPM. And next we'll be doing doubles together. Okay. So for our third, we're going to be doing paradiddles. If you don't understand what a paradiddle is, it's very simple. It's just right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left and then you just repeat that pattern over and over again. So really slowly, this is what it sounds like. And now we're gonna be playing it at 100 BPM just like every other rudiment. If you would like to take that a step further, you could also accent your paradiddle. So you could do. And lastly, this is one of my favorites. Uh, I picked it up years and years ago on a tour once. This is a Swiss Army triplet. So it's just flam, tap, tap. So it's flam, right, left. Or the inverse, flam, left, right. I prefer playing it with the right lead orientation. That's how I usually incorporate it onto the set. So if you ever see me do like a kind of cool, like flammy style fill, that's usually what I'm doing. So really quickly, once again, flam, right, left. And these are done in a triplet orientation. So when we play them to the 4-4, 100 BPM, it's, it is going to kind of loop after a certain point. And that's it everyone. Those are my four favorite hand rudiments to warm up with. Again, I'm just going over these really quickly so you can see what these rudiments look like. I do these at 100 BPM and do them for about two or three minutes each. That gives my hands enough time to really loosen up and feel fluid and like they're actually contributing as opposed to having all the muscle groups be really tensed up. If you're a beginner watching this, I would highly recommend doing this for uh, four to five minute intervals. You could start slower because it is a longer period of time that you're gonna have to be doing these start at about 60 or 70 BPM. And uh, just work your way up slowly. This is not a race. This is not a contest of who can be the better drummer. This is all about music and this is about giving yourself and your body the tool set to be able to create music that people can listen to and having grooves and having fun. That's what this is all about. So if you're not having fun, 
come on. <laughs> you have to grind it out a little bit with these early steps to make sure that your drumming career is solid. If you have no good fundamental base, you will always lack uh, and be struggling where others can do crazy incredible things that you might not be able to interpret when really, if you broke it down, it was just a paradiddle and a couple doubles. I want to show you guys really quick one of those examples of how you can turn a single stroke roll into a very cool double stroke accented thing. So I'm going to be accenting the one uh, of every single stroke. So we're going to be doing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Except every now and then, I'm just going to throw in a double. And that is why you want to be able to practice all of these rudiments individually. That way, when you throw them in together in conjunction, you can make some pretty cool sounding beats. Once again, I'd like to thank Donna for sending out this practice pad set. Um, it's been a huge help to me. And honestly, like I said, for about 60 bucks, it's kind of a hard deal to pass up. You get a bag, practice pad, stands, you get everything that you need in one solid package and it's easily transportable. And this is going home with me and it, it's going to be my secondary warm up station uh, whenever I get up in the morning, so. Big thanks again to them for sending this out and sponsoring this video. And if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, please consider subscribing and liking. It really helped me out. Comment below if you guys liked this video and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Mwah.